What's going on guys, it's Duramon. Welcome back to another episode of NBA Kicks. You guys know the drill. This is the show where we go through the 10 best sneakers worn in the NBA from the past week. On your screen right now are some honorable mentions that didn't quite crack the top 10, but this week's list is pretty awesome. We don't have just one, we have two brand new sneaker debuts, as well as a shoe that I think is only possible through time travel. I know you guys are wondering about that, so let's get straight to the kick. Kicking off the list at number 10, we have Kevon Looney with a custom colorway of the Anta KT5. Klay Thompson's teammate rocks his fist signature model in a custom colorway that doesn't have too much color going on, but it still looks pretty dope on the hardwood. Using an all white colorway of the KT5 as a base, this custom has a paint splatter design on the upper that goes from black to white, as well as a graphic design, which I think reads Misfits. Overall, you guys know me, I love my black and white, so when I saw these, I just knew I had to put them on this week's list. So here they are starting it off at number 10. Next up at number nine, we have Taco Fall with a custom colorway of the Alpha Dunk from Nike. Taco Fall is the latest NBA player to show off his love of classic anime characters with this custom colorway of the Nike Alpha Dunk that uses a Naruto theme across the entire silhouette, but the back heel panel is the real standout feature here with amazing artwork done by none other than Sairado. I'm not a Naruto fan, but even I have to admit that these are pretty dope. Coming in at number eight, we have Cam Johnson with a very rare pair of Nike KD4s. With Kevin Durant out for the year, his signature line has been carried on this season with players like Cam Johnson of the Phoenix Suns rocking this oldie but goodie from the KD signature line. What makes these rare are the fact that these are a year of the dragon variant of the KD4 that was actually on Nike ID for a limited time. Just a retail version of the year the dragons had a blue and mango color scheme and the pair that cam is rocking obviously uses a black purple and orange color scheme to match his team's uniforms how he found a pair of shoes that came out over eight years ago in his current team colors and in his size nonetheless is honestly a complete mystery to me and i can only think that he found a way to time travel back in time id a pair come back to our current dimension just to stun on us Weird flex, but okay. Next up at number seven, we have Malik Monk with a PE of the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Troll. The launch colorway of the Kobe 4 Pro Troll was obviously the Charlotte Hornets themed draft day colorway, which is a classic, but I just feel like Nike could have switched things up a bit to give us a nice little change of pace. And the pair that Malik Monk wore of the Kobe 4s is exactly the type of change I had in mind. Using a monochromatic style color scheme with an all teal upper and midsole, the rest of the silhouette is rounded out by a translucent outsole as well as purple branding and inner lining, while the midsole is also splattered with some purple speckling, which completes a look that I actually prefer over the OG Draft Day colorway, but let me know which one you like more in the comment section below. Next up at number 6, we have Russell Westbrook with a new colorway of the Jordan Why Not 0.2 SE. All right, so I'm actually going to need your guys' help on this one. Russ rocked two very similar colorways last week that actually remind me of the OG Hirachi colorways, and I can't really decide which one I like more. On one hand, you have a white, purple, and teal color scheme that's accented with blacks and yellows, and on the other hand, you have a more colorful colorway that fills in those white areas with turquoise and yellow, while that colorway is accented by blacks and oranges. It really comes down to how much color you like on your sneakers, but either way, both colorways fit the silhouette perfectly and definitely deserve a spot on this week's list. Before we get to our top five sneakers of the week, I gotta ask you guys a question. Have you ever just wanted a bag that can fit all of your essential gear in, but it wasn't too big so that when you're ready to hit the gym or the park to cross dudes up, get buckets and drop dimes, you can just grab that bag and go? Well, if you said yes to that video, allow me to introduce you to our sponsor for today's video, the Road Trip Mini Cross Body Bag from Point3. The Road Trip Mini has everything you need to store all of your essential gear in and even has a ventilated rubber mesh bottom to air out any sweaty gear that you might have after getting in a couple of runs. And this main compartment is actually even big enough to hold a water bottle plus a change of clothes. And again, it's all in this compact package 
that is quick and easy to lug around. And in my opinion, it's just a lot more convenient because it's small, it's compact. If you're going somewhere after you're done hooping, you just put this over your shoulder or over your waist and it's easy to lug around. And also, if you're at the park or the gym, you could clip this on a fence or a door so it's not on the ground getting all dirty. And it's also a perfect place to store all of your threes. So if you're hitting the gym or the park and you're looking for a bag like this, go ahead and check out the Road Trip Mini with the link in the description box below. Coming in at number five, we have Kawhi Leonard with this colorway of the New Balance Omni Ones. Now, in case you missed it, I just put up my performance review of the Omni Ones from New Balance. And in the comment section of that video, you guys pointed out that it's actually pronounced Omnis, which does make a lot of sense. However, I've been pronouncing it Omni Ones ever since it made its debut on NBA Kicks, and no one has said a single thing about it. What's up with that? Regardless, the colorway that Kawhi rocked against the Timberwolves is meant to go alongside the Clippers' awesome City Edition uniforms with the same font face from the uniforms on the straps alongside a black and white color scheme that's accented with classic Clipper red and blues. In my opinion, this is by far the best colorway of the Omnises that we have seen yet and they actually saw an online release but were pretty hard to get since they sold out in a matter of minutes. Trust me, I tried to actually cop a second pair for myself, but they were only available in sizes 15 and up, which actually, you know what, now that I think about it, maybe I should have got a size 15 because if I got a size 15, there would definitely be no midfoot tightness. Next up at number four, we have Zach Levine with the debut of the Adidas BYWX 2.0. Now normally on this show, if you debut a brand new sneaker, you're pretty much guaranteed a top three spot. But with Zach Levine, I just had to make an exception because I feel like the second version of the BYWXs takes a step back from its predecessor visually. Now don't get me wrong, this is an interesting silhouette. It makes me think, but if I didn't see these on Zach's feet on an actual NBA floor, I would have never guessed that these were basketball sneakers because they look a lot more like skate shoes, which I'm not totally against, but in this colorway, it's just not doing it for me, guys. It kind of gives me a clearance rack vibe, like this is one of those shoes that you could find at a Marshalls or a Ross, but it still is a new silhouette, and I do think some people are going to dig these. So if you're one of those people, let your voice be heard in the comment section below. Next up at number three, we have Jason Tatum with a new PE of the Air Jordan 34. The Jordan brand has been absolutely lacing JT up with a number of PEs throughout the season, and his latest outing is a callback to Nike's paranormal collaboration on the foam posits, since JT's PE uses the same neon green and yellow flame graphic on the upper. The neon green outsole as well as accents throughout the silhouette all glow in the dark for a really cool effect, but don't you think that the flames on the upper should have glowed in the dark as well? I mean, it does kind of feel like a missing feature when the lights are switched off, but nonetheless, it's still a dope colorway and it fits right in with the Celtics green color scheme. Coming in as our runner up, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo with a new PE of the Nike Zoom Freak 1. Giannis drops this colorway of his first signature model on us with style thanks to a very colorful graphic on the upper, that is clearly inspired by Alphabet Soup or cereal, whichever one you prefer. But this colorway is one that we've seen Giannis rock before, but only during the off season. So it's great to see these finally make their encore debut. It's also worth mentioning that Giannis gave this pair away to a kid who was wearing his jersey on the road in Memphis. And it also looks like that kid got an autograph on his jersey as well, which is an awesome moment that definitely gave Giannis a couple extra brownie points when I was making this week's list. Finally, at number one, we have Gordon Hayward with the NBA Kicks debut of the Anta GH1. Now, Gordon Hayward has actually been quietly rocking his first signature sneaker with Anta, but the reason why you haven't seen it on this show yet is because I wanted to make sure that we got the right colorway of the GH1s to make its debut. This black and gum colorway that Hayward rocked against the Sixers is inspired by his favorite barbershop in Boston, which is called Title Town, as you can see with the graphic on the upper, as well as a barber pole style like graphic on the back heel cup, which is a personal favorite feature of mine. And there's also a special fresh cut emblem on the tongue, which has Gordon's iconic high fade. But at the end of the day, this is just a brand new signature sneaker. And when you rock a new signature shoe on NBA Kicks, 
they're gonna get the number one spot. So here they are, the Anta GH1, AKA the best sneaker worn in the NBA during week eight of the 2019-20 regular season. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of NBA Kicks, which if you did, please smash that like button. It helps us out a lot and subscribe to the channel for more episodes of NBA Kicks every single week. My name's Jaren Isberger Avenue. I'm gonna go play some ball now. Peace.